Welcome to the Top Talent and Immigration Show with your host, Koshik Ranshad. In this show, we discuss how companies and top talent in America overcome immigration obstacles and help create freedom and prosperity in America. Koshik Ranshad here. I'm the founder of Top Talent and Immigration, where I talk with leading researchers, business leaders, and attorneys on how they overcome big challenges in the immigration process and business. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about a reflection of the year of 2019. And this episode is brought to you by Ranch Law Group. Ranch Law Group's mission is to provide freedom and prosperity for immigrants and help more businesses to connect to top talent. Ranch Law Group believes that immigrants add tremendous value to the U.S. economy and helps companies facing a shortage of talent to make up that gap and grow thanks to the immigrant talent that contribute to their bottom line. They also help immigrants to navigate the complicated immigration process today. Ranch Law Group has been in business for nearly 20 years in Northern California and serves clients nationwide as a trusted advisor for employers and helping employers to attract talented immigration employees. Contact Ranchard Law Group today for details on how the firm can help you to solve your immigration challenges. Visit us at ranchardlaw.com or 916-613-3553. 2019 comes to a close and we've seen a lot of things happen this year with the Trump administration and different policies that have been affecting immigration one of them uh, has been just the increase in requests for evidence that are occurring. And basically, it's not only that, but also the increase of denials. And these things are happening because of the Trump policy of the extreme vetting. And so what we're seeing ha- happen are three things. Processing times increased this year by the government. There was an increase for requests for evidence. And then there was also an increase of denials. So the challenge in the landscape of immigration law has radically changed with the Trump administration. And how do we handle that? How do we deal with that on an emotional, personal level? Because this creates more stress for you as you go through the process. And recently, um, I just went to go visit my mom this weekend and it really just brought a lot of gratitude to my life of what my parents had to go through what they had to go through as immigrants in the united states growing up here the sacrifices they had to make my mom work two jobs to sacrifice her life her lifestyle for us to basically have the opportunities that we have So despite all of the challenges, everything that you may be facing, if you're here um, as a postdoc researcher or you're a physician or you're working at a startup or a company or you're an employer um, sponsoring an, an employee, we can always turn back to gratitude. Gratitude of, in my specific situation and In your situation, too, your parents who sacrificed for you to be where you're at. So even though we're going through tough challenges, tough times, if you look at your life today, if you immigrated to the United States, your parents probably sacrificed for you to be where you're at. And you're probably in a better situation than when they were at. And to me, that just brings just such appreciation for my parents won for what they did for me to be here and to be in this amazing country with the opportunity that's here with all of the abundance. And that's why our firm mission is to create freedom and prosperity to, to continue to help people achieve that freedom and prosperity, because that's why you came here is to better your life and basically have more freedom from than what you had before and to have more prosperity. And you're probably here today because you're standing on the shoulders of giants such as your parents or someone else who helped you to be in this situation because we all stand on the shoulder of giants and we don't do anything in a vacuum all by ourselves. 
So yes, immigration has become more challenging. It has increased in difficulty, but don't give up. When you feel that um, uncertainty that, or your stress level increasing because of what's going on, you can always go back and look at all of the amazing things the, that are happening in your life. Look to the past people who've helped you in your life to be where you're at today. So if you're a postdoc researcher at a university, your parents probably sacrificed their life for you to get the education that you had. And you can still get an approval. It just takes more work. So hope is not lost. It is just taking more work, more preparation, and it's still possible. On that note, I just want to wish you an amazing 2020. 2019 is over, and I have great hopes for this year, and I look forward to answering your questions and continuing to educate you. You can continue to call us at 916-613-3553 if you have questions, or you can email us at info at ranchildlaw.com. Thank you, and have an awesome year. Thanks for listening. Be sure to click to subscribe, check us out on the web, and we will see you next time.